Okay, step two. The next thing you need to do is open a new tab and go to wordpress.com. Now, Gmail gives you your email address, your professional email address, and WordPress is what's going to give you your blog. Okay? So, let's give it a moment. Okay, there we go. And all we do is we click on create website. Create website. Okay, and there are six steps we need to go through. First, we need to tell them what is your website about. So why don't we make it, hmm, I would say business and services in a way because they're going to be essentially providing a service. It's your professional, it's a professional blog. Um, so click on business services and then I guess we can look for the service that, there we go, advertising and marketing. Okay, what would you like to be on your home page? Well, in our home page it's going to be a blog. So, I guess we can make it, you can choose. You can have a welcome page, you can have a list of my latest posts, or a grid of my latest posts. You can, you can change that at another occasion. Personally, um, I, we have found that most people like to have a list of your latest posts. So, let's click on that one. And then you can choose your theme. What theme do you want to use? And this you can also change at a later point. So you can even say skip for now. So and you'll look at the different designs that you can have. Some are better than or some are different than others. So um, well, it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I will just choose maybe this one for now. Okay. Now let's find it a name. Now you're going to have to choose a name for your WordPress domain. So, here are some examples. At the moment, we can't. you can't have your own .com unless you paid for it, which you're welcome to do. It's not very expensive. I think it's about 150 Rand a year. Um, but we're just going to take the free version, which looks sim something simple to that, similar to that. And um, we're going to make it your name. Make it your name, please. Nothing complicated, just your name. Okay. Okay. Now. Okay, I think I've already got one called Dylan Cromot. So, which is fine. But eventually I could have Dylan Cromot Tom or Dylan Cromot dot me or Dylan Cromot dot net. And we can eventually, um, when you guys are ready to go into the uh, into the real world, we can upgrade it to that for very very cheap. Okay, but um, mine's going to be yeah. Let's call it Dylan Cromart blog. That's fine for now. For you, just choose Dylan Cromart. Okay, and then you say select or your name and your surname. Let's try D H Cromart. See if that works. Although it would be nice if you could have your name, so that people know that it's your name. Dylan Cromart. Okay. Fine, Dylan Cromart blog, perfect. Select. Okay, then we're going to go for the free option. Free, just get started. With This one is um, $8 per month. It's not that much, but okay, we're not going to choose that. We're just going to choose the free option. So click on free. And then we're going to put in our email address. Okay. And that's the one we just made. Remember, I made mine Dylan Cromhout2 at gmail.com. And then we're going to choose a username. Now, very important. Here, choose something that doesn't include the word blog. Okay. So maybe Dylan Cromart could work. Although this username for me is already taken, as you can see there. So I'm going to just make mine DH Cromart. Okay, that name is also already taken. <laughs> so maybe Dylan Cromart 2 will work. 
Okay, great. So make it something simple like that, your name and your surname, so that when you're posting, people can see, oh, it's coming from your name and your surname. It's coming from you. Okay, which is another password. Make your password the same as your Gmail address password. Okay, and then I say, create my account. Now adding my theme, adding my domain, and just about done. And there it is. Okay, my blog has been created. Now we need to go. Can you see it says, please confirm your email address? Need a hand? We'd love to show you around the place and give you some ideas for what to do next. Okay, we can do that soon, but um, you can also say no thanks. It's up to you. But first, here it says to post and keep using WordPress. They need you to uh, uh, um, confirm your email address. Okay, so let's go to our email. And... Do we have any new email addresses? We click on refresh. Did it work? I hope I put in the right email address. Did I? Dylan Cromhart2 at gmail.com. Yeah, that's right. Ah, oh, there we go. WordPress.com. Okay, so I click on the email and then I say confirm now. And it's going to confirm. It's going to confirm the WordPress site for me. Right, and there you can see it says verified. Okay, email confirmed. Wonderful. Look at that. Okay, and if you like, you can go on this uh, little tour. It will show you where you can find your tools. Click the W to continue. It will show you that this is a menu which allows you to navigate around and will adapt to give you the tools you need and when you need them. Continue. This shows you your currently selected site's name and address. So you can have multiple WordPress sites, but this is the current one, the Lincromo blog. Click your site's name to continue. Okay, there we go. This is your site's preview. For, excuse me. Here you can see how your site looks to others. This is what currently the world can see when they look at Dylan Cromart's blog. Okay. Continue. Take a look at your site and then close the site preview. You can come back here any time. Click the X button to continue. So that's what people can see. Okay, great. We can change your theme over there. You can do that later. And that's it. Those are some of the basics that WordPress is teaching us. Okay, but you can have a look around here at the various things that you'd like to. Okay, so that's how we've now set up your WordPress 